All right, welcome back to another video. Bosch's 2 just dropped like three days ago. And this just might be worse than Bosch's 1 because like almost everything that could have gone wrong went wrong with the album. Uh, I thought I had like a lack of cohesion and like a clear direction for where it was going. And they also made a lot of changes to certain songs that just made them worse in my opinion. So in this video, I'll go like song by song and just give my thoughts on each individual song of the album and uh, let you guys know what I think. So starting with slide, um, the first song slide, I thought that was like a pretty strong intro to the album. I really liked it. And then also the bass and then the production as well was really good. But can I just mention the amount of people that were on the production team for this song? Like I'm going to put up like a screenshot from Genius. It's it's actually insane for just the song. So I don't know. But um, I really liked the production and then Kanye's flow as well. Uh, and then I thought the album was going to be good from here on out, but it kind of turned for the worse. Uh, I also really like the outro of the song, like how they extended it and then they did that, like, you know, the trumpet or the horns or whatever. For the second song, Time Moving Slow, uh, they unfortunately ruined the song. I don't know how they did that. I really liked the version that was like more so like a house, um, house kind of like genre, I think. But they didn't change the intro and then they changed the beat. And when you compare it to the versions that were posted on YouTube, like about six months ago, it's much more... Like it's, it's much better, like way better than what was released. And that's just pretty unfortunate. But I mean, it was still tolerable. So as far as I'm concerned, it was like a two for two so far. Then we move on to the third song, Field Trip with uh, Don Tolliver, Cardi, and then Kodak Black, I'm pretty sure. I also liked the song. I thought it was fire. Uh, probably like the best song, or probably like the top three out of the album. And then I liked everyone's part except for Kodak's, only because of the beat switch as well. And I also wish that Kanye could have had like a verse on the song, but I don't know how that would have turned out. So it's tolerable that he didn't have a, a verse on the song, but it was fine with that one. And then, so moving on to the fourth song, Fried. Uh, I thought the song was kind of good. It's not my favorite. Uh, I literally watched like a YouTube video with someone producing it themselves or like changing certain things about the production and it sounded way better. So there's that. And then uh, the lyrics weren't anything crazy as well. So in my opinion, like it's it's not like Kanye hasn't been this foul before, but it's just like this seems like an indicator of his lyrical decline because of what he was saying on the song, basically. On the sixth track, Promotion, uh, I thought they ruined the song personally when if you heard like the the version that they played at the Jamaican restaurant like eight months ago or more it was way better uh, I think the like the tune in the background of the song with the piano or something like that was a lot louder and that just I didn't realize just how much more that makes the song better but they took that away they lowered the volume of that and then they just changed it like again changing the beat I don't know how you could ruin the song but they did it and it came out like a lot worse than what I heard from that snippet. And um, yeah, I can't I can't sugarcoat it. Like it's trash, respectfully. And the singing from Tani as well was not the best. So it's just like, I, I, I wish someone else would sing it because sometimes for Tani, it's hit or miss when he sings. But for this one, it just wasn't really hitting. Also, this is like a small nitpick, but him, he was doing some callbacks to previous lines that he said in previous songs of his. And that's just not going to save the album uh, if you keep on doing that. And that's why, like I said, it kind of points to his lyrical decline, in my opinion. Because like he said, um, like we always do, do it this time. And that's a line that he said in uh, Good Morning from Graduation. But you can only use nostalgic lines, you know, so many amount of times before it just becomes like an indicator of you being trash, basically. So it wasn't going to save the sign. Uh, on the seventh track, Husband, this might be the worst track or the second worst track on the entire album. This was just like horrendous and just nasty as well because again, like I said earlier, it's not like Kanye hasn't been this um, foul, I guess, before. But hearing like it's not a good pair to hear Kanye with these lyrics for some reason, like because he brings more to music than just these lyrics, and they're very like plain. And also, I was just like, as I was listening to it, I'm just wondering like, who was this directed to? Because you're literally married, but the song is talking about a woman that needs her husband. And it's most likely about Kim, but like he's moved on from that at least. So that was a little bit weird. Um, and yeah, I think I, I thought it, was, it should have just been taken off the album entirely because it ruined the album by a lot of points. And then we move on to Lifestyle, which I also didn't really like, but I liked the beat at least. And I liked uh, Ty Dolla Sign's part. I thought he carried on the song, but he put Husband on the second half of the track for the outro again. Like, he puts the same song that he just played 
and he puts it again on the next song on the outro like as his verse and i'm just like bro like what are you doing like what is the point of that it's either take off husband as track number seven and then just keep it on lifestyle or take it off of lifestyle and keep it as track number seven or like use a different verse for that song but he puts the same song twice it doesn't make any sense and the song isn't that great altogether as well so it just knocks down the album and I, i'm just really wondering why he did that in the first place track number nine is forever and i thought it sounded good like james blake produced the song and i think he came in clutch with the song i think he saved it i do wish it was longer but having heard the previous tracks i'm not sure how well that would have played out so um, i'm okay with the length of the song so um yeah track number 10 is bomb this is by far the best song on the entire album um like probably the best song in years from kanye it features his daughters like north in chicago and then they did like a really nice um comparison like they, they basically connected the lyrics to the unfortunate bombing like of hiroshima and little boy and big boy in japan and nagasaki and stuff like that so you know they're really showing their um lyrical their lyrical mastery very early on for their ages and that's why i really like the song i mean you know you have Kanye in the background like the vocals <laughs> which i also really enjoyed but um the lyrics are just like really outstanding like really good but uh in all seriousness like i wouldn't really count the song when rating the album because respectfully i just i don't expect any child like any song with their with the artist child on it to be good so i'm not going to count it towards the album but uh it's low-key going on me to be honest with you but that just might be like, the tiny effect uh but i also did like the beat though for real like Kanye in the background um it's just unfortunate that it was used for like i don't know for like something trash respectively uh track number 11 is river this might be an unpo unpopular opinion but i just didn't really like the song i don't know why but um yeah i, I just don't like it only the, only the outro part is fire um i might have to listen to it again but yeah it's not that high on my list for the best tracks on this album track number 12 is 530 and i actually like the song i actually like this version of it but um I think the context doesn't really fit anymore because I'm pretty sure it's more directed towards Kim or after his divorce. So that's like the Donda 2 era, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I don't really mind. And then again, he should have like re-recorded the second half because he kept in the mumble. And I'm I, again, I'm just not sure what this guy is doing when you're keeping in the mumbles and the bad parts of a track and you keep it in and then you release it as the official um, publication of the album. It, it just doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but otherwise i thought it was a good track that's that's about it track number 13 this was all right i don't really have anything more to say about it track number 14 is forever rolling i thought this was kind of mid i heard it like during the um the very initial vultures live uh listening party like vultures one i'm pretty sure uh and then yeah i thought it was kind of mid it was all right i don't i'm not sure if i might listen to it again but i did like the beat and drums in the background uh number 15 is sky city again i like this version of it yeah, so it's not it's not until you listen to the other versions of the song on YouTube in the past that you realize just how much they ruined it. And again, I there there's just no reason to have ruined it that way. And then as far as the AI part, I'm not I don't really care about the AI only because I'm pretty sure it was a reference start, uh, track that he would have rapped the exact same lyrics for. All he did was use AI for it, but uh, it did sound off. And I do wish he could have just re-recorded the verse. But again, I, I'm not sure what to expect for this Kanye. Track number 16, which is the outro, is My Soul, and I really like the song. This is like the one song that I actually really liked on the album, and I thought it was a strong outro for the album, at least the first half. I didn't really like the second half with uh, Ty's part or his brother's part, respectfully. Um, I also like the background vocals in the production as well, and then I think at least it closes off the album at least decently. So yeah, but otherwise a worse album than Vultures 1 as far as I'm concerned. And um, I really hope Vultures 2, Vultures 3 is better, or at least a solo album. But, um, and I can't expect Kanye to put effort into the next albums that he makes because, again, he's probably seen like people posting it, reposting it, calling it good. And he's seen people that will buy the album as well. So to his perspective, people really like the album. And why would he change your formula if people are receiving it well so i don't it's kind of unfortunate but i think people should not like if you don't like the album he needs to know that you don't like the album so that he can actually change and put effort into it but yeah that's about it for this review leave a like uh comment what you thought about the album and the video and then subscribe that's about it peace